Okay, in this problem, we're told that we have some cylinder with a radius of 10 and a height of 10. Okay, so we have this cylinder with a radius of 10 and a height of 10 that's being reformed into a sphere. Okay, so we want to know what is the circumference of the sphere. Okay, in other words, the, um, like the equator, how far is it to go all the way around this sphere from front to back? And as we know here, the circumference formula is 2 pi r. So in order to calculate the circumference of the sphere, we have to know the radius of the sphere. And in order to know the radius of the sphere, we have to know the volume of the sphere. Okay, so we first start with volume. Okay, so the only thing that's true here is that the volume of this cylinder is the same as the volume for this sphere. Okay, it got reformed completely. Nothing was lost. So if we find the volume, which is pi times radius squared times the height, Okay, that gives me a volume of 1,000 pi cubic units, since there are no units. Okay, so that means that the volume of my sphere is also 10,000 pi. So now I want to set it equal to the volume formula for my sphere, which is 4 pi r cubed divided by 3. So we find the volume for your cylinder and set it equal to the volume for a sphere. So we solve this by timesing everything by 3. 3,000 pi equals 4 pi r cubed. Okay, dividing both sides by 4 pi. The pi's cancel each other out there. And 3,000 divided by 4 is 750 equals r cubed, and then taking the third root of both sides gives me a radius of, let me see, calculator, the third root of 750 is 9.0856, okay, is the radius of my sphere. So now that I know the radius, I can find the circumference, which is 2 times pi times the radius. So times 2 and times pi, we get a circumference of 57.087 units. Okay, linear units for circumference, not squared or cubed. So 57.087 units is the distance around that sphere.